As for those on the floor Monday night, Goran Dragic played his first game against the Suns since Phoenix dealt him at the deadline on Monday. And there was Dragic drama along the way, as you may recall. The Dragon claimed he couldn't trust management before the deal, and management described him as selfish afterward. Before meeting his old team on the floor, Dragic had a chance to address the war of words. Maybe I came too hard, but, um, you know, um, the only thing I came, I came out because I, I, I said uh, what I was feeling. You know, I never said nothing about, nothing about bad, how bad, something about bad organization, just how I felt it. And, uh, you know, maybe I shouldn't say that, but, um, you know, I'm an I'm a honest guy, so I'm going to say what I feel it. And I, I felt that, uh, you know, at that time. Mom always told me honesty is the best policy. The heat breathing dragon adhering to mom's motto, I guess. Uh, Hassan Whiteside is honestly a great rebounder early in his career. Yeah, Duncan on Alex Len, and that was just the first time. Meanwhile, Dragic wasn't treated all that nicely by his former teammates. You know, some couple of um, hard fouls, and obviously, you can see Dragic is going to keep coming, and there's Dwayne Wade with a steal and a dunk. He's doing an excellent job of stretching that lead out in the second quarter. He had four steals, 16 points, third quarter now. Things uh, get even more physical. Dragic going hard to the rim on the break. Fouled even harder by Mark Keith Morris, who has assessed a flagrant two here and ejected. Agreed? Oh, there was a foul in the first half. Mark Keith got him in the head, and that one leading with the chest, the way that Dragic fell down, it was enough for Morris. Dragic goes to the bench, went to the locker room for a little bit, got checked out, had five fouls, so wasn't playing much uh, because of that situation. He'd get back in the game later, Matt. Meanwhile, Whiteside continuing to own the boards and dunk on Alex Len. That's number two. Uh, and Len uh, had about enough of it. One's Off the enough, miss, Matt, too. Or... Whiteside got him again, comes Three. down kind of on the shoulders there. Len responds, and then Whiteside, whose dad played in the NFL, had nearly perfect tackling for him. The shoulder into the legs didn't quite wrap him up, but pretty close. And it was on. I'm sure the frustration from Alex Lynn giving up these three dunks off offensive rebounds, and you can see Alex Lynn and also Whiteside been going after it. And then they uh, got a little skirmish going on, and you can see both guys to the ground. Both deservedly ejected. They were done for the night. Less than a minute later, Marcus Morris gets fouled hard. Morris and Henry Walker exchange words. A flagrant one on Walker, double technicals on Walker and Morris. And in the third quarter alone, this team, or this game, I should say, featured five technicals, two flagrant fouls, and three ejections. It was like pitchers hitting batters and the umpires making sure that nothing else happened the rest of the game, Matt. So it was physical, and the Heat had to play through more things that happened to them. This time, Tyler Johnson was having a great game to this point, coming down on that left angle. And you look like he was going to go out of the game and not play. Well, he stayed right in there. He bounced right back up and continued to play and play well. Tyler Johnson had the night of his young NBA life, knocking down the three there, undrafted out of Fresno State. He had a career high 26. Wayne Wade said after we need to play him more. Dragic finally gets back in the flow. Ten points in the fourth quarter. First Wade sets him up and then the Dragon from three. He had 21. Miami wins it 115 to 98. Uh, they've won 10 straight against Phoenix as they finish off a sweep of the season series. Dragic and Johnson, a couple of uh, lefties combined for 47 from the backcourt. 